Thank you. President, please be seated. Le président, the court is now back in session. The fellow judges of the bench, uh, do you have any questions uh, to juges, put to the witness? Uh, Judge Claude Fence, you have the floor. La juge Fence, la parole. Thank you, President. Um, I have two follow-up questions to you on what the prosecutor has asked this morning. Let me first recall the working conditions, and you tell me if I got it right, and then I have a question. You talked about the um, 13-hour working day with two rather meager meals per day, unsavory working conditions. We heard about landslides or collapsing parts of the dam, um, unsatisfactory medical treatment. Did I get that correctly? Did I sum that up correctly? J'ai bien résumé. Yes, uh, that is about right. Réponse. Oui, Now, my follow-up question is: Given these question. working conditions, Ma question de suivi est la suivante. how Donc, many, conditions de travail, if any at all, of your 100 people died per month, let's say, if any? Sur 100 personnes. Combien de personnes mouraient par mois si il y avait des décès, bien sûr. Uh, there was one Réponse. incident where people died from the soil collapse. De personnes qui sont mortes lorsqu'il y a eu un glissement As de terrain. The Soil was piled up high and it uh, collapsed onto those workers and they died. Three uh, workers died actually. One died on the spot. The other one died when the person was dragged away and another one the lastly died at home. And when I worked at Kapawi. Lorsque je travaillais à Kapawi, a worker was crushed to death by a, a palm tree when he was uh, uprooting that palm tree. De ce, ce I actually uh, took that uh, into the worker to the hospital Les and then he was uh, forwarded further to the sector hospital in Kampong Chan. And allow me to correct, in fact, the person did not die and the person uh, is Life today. So let me sum up. In three years of working under what sounds like harsh conditions, only three out of your 100 people, of the 100 people under your supervision, died. Is that correct? Only three workers died from work-related oui, uh, reasons, that is, in connection to the dam building. En lien, donc, avec la As for du other causes of death, that's a different matter altogether. Then let us now deal with this different matter. I understand four people died from accidents. Bien que so what about the number of people who died for other reasons, again, out of your group of 100 per month. How many people died for whatever reason? As a first question, for whatever reason, out of your 100 per month.
Besides, uh, it seems that none of my Réponse. workers died. They tried to find supplementary food to Ils eat. essayaient de trouver des compléments And pour none se of them died as a result of being haunted uh, by traditional belief in superstition or ghosts. Aucun, no, But aucun, allow me to say, those, recall, raisons, those workers were not in a hanté, good shape as etc. what we are now. Les they were skinnier than what we are. Can you then explain to me your question previous answer, which was four people died from Accidents. As to other courses, this is another matter. What did you mean by that? President, Council Consum On, you have the floor. Council Consum On, thank you, Mr. President. I'm on my feet just to make observation in relation to the questions by the uh, by Judge Fens. In fact, uh, the witness stated that the three Le workers died, and the fourth one actually mort, survived after he was uh, sent to the hospital. Enfin, this is just uh, my observation. Voilà que je faire. Fine, I'm not contesting that. Bien, Let me re pas. repeat my question. You answered earlier three people died Vous avez dit que trois related to accidents. Mortes. As to other deaths, that is another matter. What did you mean by that? -vous voulu dire par là? Other uh, workers died Réponse. from other Les causes when they returned to the village and worked in a rice field, not village, at the dam or work site. And réserves, allow me to say, exemple, there were only a few of them, and uh, maybe one or two of them out of 100 uh, un workers died from illness. And although they were being treated, uh, the treatment failed, as it was mainly uh, a traditional form of a treatment. If you believed in the superstition, it seems that not many workers in my area became ill. Although I cannot Donc, say about uh, other villages, but I believe the situation was very similar. You said one or two died of illness. One or two in three years, or one or two in one year, or in one month? Chaque mois, chaque année. In relation to the uh, canal Réponse. construction uh, work site, the three workers died uh, when they worked uh, near the Les first January dam. And in 1978, they started working on a feeding canal, which, was, uh, co which continued from the previous location where we worked. And uh, a workforce from the sector barrage, worked in a separate location from where we were uh, working. And other uh, communes were working at uh, different designated areas. Zones. I said that I did not see workers die. J'ai dit que je n'avais pas vu de Although we did not have abandoned food to eat, Certes, we actually ate, manger, despite the, the limited the taste of the food. Le goût de la Let pas me fameux, come back to the original question. You said question. one or two workers died from illness. I just want to ask you one or two, 
in the three years, or one or two per year, or one or two per month? If you can tell. In between 1977 Réponse. to 78, Entre those people that I uh, mentioned uh, died. Les que and that was all. Sont mortes. So altogether, Et out of tout. your 100 Question. in this period, roughly five to six people died. Peut donc dire que cinq ou six that sounds like a healthy working environment. Okay. Um, let me let me get to my second question. I um, understand you were supervising 100 people. Um, your group of 100, were you working on the dam at an isolated spot, or were you working together with some of the remaining 9,900? I believe you told us there were 10,000 workers. Allow me to respond. In 1977, while we were working at the Jinnat River, we were working towards the south part of the Jinnat River. And in 1978, we continued working along Stone Jinnat River. However, it was about three kilometers away from where we originally worked. On the uh, issue of the living condition, we built our series of uh, hats and we stayed together there and we were allowed to rest every tenth day and for the uh, married men and women, on that day they would request to visit their uh, spouse while others remained at the work site. So could you please try and answer my questions as succinctly as possible? The question was easy. Did your group of 100 ever work together with some of the other workers, 9,900, if your 10,000 is correct. Or were you working for three years in a completely isolated place, isolated from all the others? We actually uh, worked uh, separately from other units. Nous I refer to the second stage unités. of working. Je parle ici de la deuxième it was near Barai, but initially, Barai. when we worked départ, at the feeding canal of the first January Dam, we were closer to other groups. Janvier, but for the second groupes. stage in Barai, we were about three kilometers away from where we originally worked, and we were separate from other travail. working groups. We were given a plot of land of about 100 meters long and that we had to dig three meters or four meters deep uh, to make a canal and our group was assigned to complete that work quota. We started working in January and by June we had to finish the work so that we can return to do the rice transplantation in the rice fields. This is now my last question. At the time when you were working together with other groups, and as far as you could observe, 
at that time? Were the working conditions the same? Or was your group having special working conditions, either better or worse than other groups you could observe while you were cooperating with them? That if you refer to the uh, time that we were uh, working closer to other groups, group, we try to consult one another and we would uh, try to share fruit, uh, uh, namely a mango fruit uh, with uh, other people in order to uh, create a better environment with uh, other groups because it was not easy to share a mango fruit uh, during the regime. And uh, that gave the initiative to the workers to work harder. Mais cela incitait les ouvriers à travailler plus dur. And we were uh, trying to work as uh, one force uh, or uh, one group. Nous nous efforçons d'être une force, un groupe, un seul et même groupe. Et nous nous sommes en train de faire ce que nous devons faire. Donc, je take it there was, at least for some period of time, not only cooperation but also communication between various working groups, units. Il y a eu communication avec les autres groupes pendant un certain temps, en tout cas, n'est-ce pas? Our uh, work depended on uh, our strength, and Notre if we united force. our strength as one force, en we could achieve force, whatever we were assigned to do. Nous accomplir ce que l'on nous demandait de faire. Of course, we tried to achieve the work a quarter assigned to us so that uh, we could say that our team completed the work a quarter. Thank you. President Judge Jean-Marc you have the floor. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonsoir, Monsieur Raoult. J'aurais quelques questions à vous poser pour euh, préciser un certain nombre de vos réponses. Tout d'abord, ce matin, si j'ai bien compris ce que nous avez dit, vous avez déclaré que, avant le barrage du 1er janvier, il y avait eu un autre barrage qui existait sur ce site et que ce barrage avait été détruit en raison d'un bombardement. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que vous aviez dit ou est-ce que je me suis trompé no, uh, it was not an aerial bombardment. Non, ce n'était pas un bombardement they aérien. They did not uh, continue working on the dam anymore because people used grenades uh, to kill the fish on va avaient été in utilisées pour tuer des poissons. Uh, the dam. So then they work on another dam in parallel to the existing dam, and the new dam is still being used at present. Et ce nouveau barrage existe toujours à l'heure actuelle. And I may say it is being fully used at the moment. Ce barrage est exploité à l'heure actuelle. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire quand? On a commencé, quand les Khmer Rouges ont-ils commencé when à construire des barrages Est-ce qu'il y a eu des chantiers dams? qui ont existé avant le 17 avril 1975 Ou est-ce que la course des projets de construction n'ont commencé qu'après le 17 avril 1975 
tiến tunup mui makara để ao chmo tunup mui makara which was named to the first january le barrage dam. appelé barrage du 1er janvier was named so when it was inaugurated ainsi, on the 1st January by Comrade Paul Paul. But the actual work on the dam had started earlier than that. In fact, it had started in October the previous year. But it was officially inaugurated and named so on the 1st of January. And later on, it continued uh, towards the west, and then the other segment was named the 6th January Dam. And the, actually, the work on the dam was kind of a great work, uh, de but later on it was damaged by people who used a grenade to uh, kill the fish living in the dam. Et avant la construction du barrage and du 1er janvier ou du 6 janvier, est-ce qu'il y avait une politique destinée à construire, place, que ce soit des barrages, que ce soit des réservoirs, que ce soit des canaux. Est-ce que on a tout de suite commencé avec le barrage du 1er janvier ou est-ce qu'avant il y avait eu d'autres travaux President uh, Witness, please observe the uh, microphone. Le Faites attention à votre micro, Witness, vous plaît. allow me le to témoin. elaborate a little bit further on this matter. Je vais vous donner quelques précisions Before à ce sujet. the collapse of the Lunol regime, du régime a de Lunol, canal to the east was constructed. However, the height of the, the, the canal was rather shallow and the water was from a, uh, another source from a creek. Et il, uh, and by mid 1976 or rather by October 1976 en octobre the 1976, upper echelon decided to construct the first January dam. And they brought in heavy machinery uh, tools to clear the forest and the land and to uproot uh, large trees. Then they uh, commenced uh, digging the ground and then they decided that for our group we had to dig a canal toward the south and for the mobile units they would be assigned to build the dam. Elles étaient chargées de construire le barrage. And many, many people were working with their hands Il y avait beaucoup, beaucoup on qui the uh, à main nue dam construction project. Dans ce projet de And construction during barrage. the movie uh, filming, they, they were filming film. the people who were carrying the dirt. Alors qu'ils transportaient de la terre. And the village chiefs or the les group chiefs village, les groupes, were les trying to carry the earth while running along with her other workers. And of course, a few days later, we were shown the film and we were so happy to see it. And that's about the 1st January Dam, although it was a sole name, the actual work started much earlier than that. It was so named because it was inaugurated on that particular day. Alors, vous venez de dire que vous aviez, vous, vous aviez noté la présence d'engins de chantier qui avaient servi notamment à arracher des arbres. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire, si y a, et, et vous avez également dit qu'il y avait beaucoup d'ouvriers qui travaillaient à main nue, 
Est-ce que vous nous dire s'il y avait beaucoup de machines qui étaient présentes sur le chantier ou est-ce que la majorité du travail a été faite par des ouvriers qui travaillaient à main nue Quel était le partage entre, entre les deux Et éventuellement aussi, est-ce qu'il y avait des animaux qui étaient utilisés pour effectuer des travaux Est-ce qu'il y avait par exemple des buffles Est-ce qu'il y avait des bœufs qui servaient à transporter la terre Oxen used to drag the earth. Les engins. I remained only three heavy machineries were used for the entire first January dam construction. There was a bulldozer, a tractor, and another machinery. And besides that, workers were used with their bare hands for the construction of the dam. Les ouvriers utilisaient également leurs propres mains pour construire le barrage. Y avait-il des animaux qui ont été utilisés, des buffles, uh, ou des bœufs or, or No animals were used to drag or transport the dirt. People were used to carry the dirt. Les gens avaient l'habitude, l'ont fait eux-mêmes. Bien, donc si je Fine. comprends bien, so, il y avait des well, dizaines de milliers de personnes qui about, travaillaient sur le site. There were several tens of thousands of people working on the work site. There was one bulldozer and there were no animals. Is that was that the case? We the machineries were not actually used for this large and extensive range of dam. The machineries were used only to level the ground, and the tractor was used for that purpose. The tractor was not the used to push the dirt to build the shoulder for the dam, not at all. The land Purely manpower was used for the building of that dam, and no animals were used at all. La construction du barrage, so the building of the tel dam, que je peux la comprendre, as I understood consiste it, à construire une levée in building de terre a levy, a levy pour of retenir l'eau. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire, so can you tell us, selon votre connaissance, selon ce que vous en savez, you know quelle était la hauteur de cette levée de terre this levy of this et quelle était sa longueur est-ce que c'était une levée de terre it, uh, qui était de quelques centaines de mètres, de quelques milliers de mètres Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire à quoi ça correspondait exactement And it continued until it joins the 6 January Dam. And the total distance was about 10 kilometers long. However, the height of the embankment varied. In some parts, the, the embankment varied was higher, in others it was lower, and uh, sometimes a, a tractor was used to level the ground. I did not see everything, I was only told about uh, that in, in other parts of the uh, project. As I met those people every uh, tenth day when we were allowed to rest.
vous venez de parler d'une réunion so que vous avez plus de 10 jours. C'était une réunion days, uh, des chefs de groupe qui travaillaient sur le chantier. Uh, C'était une réunion avec des techniciens. De quelle réunion vous parlez among, uh, technicians? What kind of meeting uh, are you speaking about? Answer. As for the meeting every 10 days, the meeting was held among the 100 workers and people from Songkat would also join the meeting. And if there was a new plan from the upper echelon, uh, si we would sit and listen uh, uh, to the plan described by those from Sankat. Est-ce que ces réunions étaient and appelées réunions de critique et criticism meetings and self criticism meetings de cette réunion tous les 10 jours il y avait des réunions every 10 days there were self criticism and criticism meetings Actually, at my work site, there were rarely any self-criticism or criticism meeting. We held a meeting to encourage workers uh, to do their work. We held a meeting to admire each other. And uh, those, uh, some workers wanted uh, to be part of the special force, so they worked very hard. The special force would start work uh, earlier than other groups, and they uh, finished uh, work uh, after the other groups. And the special force received uh, uh, fish sauce and uh, meals. And for uh, ordinary force, when they needed fish sauce or certain meal, they would have to ask for Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Did I understand well, si je dis que votre groupe when était I un say groupe that your group was an elite group, les ouvriers that is to say, que vous dirigiez étaient des ouvriers d'élite qui devaient servir de modèles à les autres travailleurs du chantier. Uh, Est-ce que c'est bien ça ce que vous dites Answer, perhaps so. One day, the district committee sent, sent people to bring a 10 pythons for the lead group to eat. We received uh, 10 pythons to eat uh, one day, and uh, it was said that uh, our group uh, was a lead group and the best group. So I shared uh, the python meat uh, with uh, other workers and with other people. Est-ce que à ce moment-là, on employait l'expression expression combat chaud Est-ce que vous faisiez used? partie de were ce qu'on appelait hot, les groupes de combat chaud Were you part called the, the hot struggle group or the hot fighting group yeah. Another name was used as referred to by your honor. And so perhaps uh, my group uh, could be uh, named as such. 
uh, people admired our group, so we tried to work very hard, and we could uh, have uh, meal, delicious meal. When I say delicious meal, I do not mean that uh, we could receive uh, pork. Uh, we could only have uh, uh, fish paste or fermented uh, fish paste. Donc, est-ce qu'on peut également dire so que les ouvriers qui travaillaient dans votre groupe étaient choisis parmi ceux qui étaient les plus forts physiquement pour être capables the strongest physically de in order to be able to show the example and to go beyond the assigned quotas. Answer, that is true, Your Honor. In 1977, one month before I was removed, I do not know whether he was the, the district chief or sector chief, and he asked me whether uh, I and my group uh, could uh, finish the work. I sought Anka help. I asked Anka to give uh dice metal or dice buying de nous donner des métaux and shove et des pelles uh, to help in our work so Anka provided with travail. the materials le are requested nous a fourni le matériel and we could finish could finish our uh, work before the new year i mean i am referring to the new year in 1978. So I have uh, another question which of course concerns the people who are working in your group, but also concerns, at least as far as you know, those who were selected to work on the first January dam work site. Were these people who were chosen, did these people have the possibility of refusing to go work at that work site? And uh, once these people were on site, did they have the possibility of stopping their work and then to leave the work site? Was this something that was allowed? Answer. When I let uh, my worker to do farming in the fields and to work in the work site, my worker never refused the work. Uh, we would go to work uh, all together. And and sometimes we work at night and at our work sites, uh, we, there were many fish uh, in the water and uh, workers uh, could uh, uh, find fish to eat. So uh, my worker wanted to go to work even at night time. Bien, je vais passer à, Fine. À une autre now I'm going to move on to another series of questions, que vous me and I would like you si to tell me chef du village, that when you were a village il y chief, avait des miliciens if dans votre village. there were militiamen in your village. In my village, there were militiamen, as there were in other villages. And militiamen, uh, 
listened to my order and I never threatened uh, those militia men. We had to do the same work. We had to transplant the rice and militia men had to do the same work. New people and uh, base people had the same work to do. And uh, base people never looked down on new people because we knew that new people were newcomers coming to live in our place. And did the militiamen have a special role to play with regard to security? Militia men provided security and safety for people. They secured uh, the safety and uh, prevent any theft of uh, uh, chicken or livestock. I told militia men to secure the safety and not to allow anyone to steal chicken or ducks. Livestock were raised and they were put in uh, the uh, dining hall. And uh, the, those who raised the livestock, if, uh, because they were the owner, if they wanted to eat uh, and cook the livestock, they could do so. We gave uh, freedom uh, to uh, the owners. Actually, we had uh, many uh, ducks and chicken raised in my area. Est-ce que les miliciens devaient faire des and rapports s'ils constataient qu'il y avait des ennemis parmi les peuples Si ils constataient qu'il y avait des ennemis parmi les peuples Answer. Réponse. If there were enemies, militiamen would report uh, about the enemies to Tsongkhap, and I was also informed about that information. And if I told militia men not to report about enemies, they did not dare to make any report. Everyone committed a mistake, but We tolerated their mistakes. I had my own way or modality of uh, leadership, different from other Sankat or villages. And the Sankat chief uh, said, if if uh, We wanted to know which uh, groups are uh, better and then the groups should be put to compete with each other in their work. And if uh, I uh, received the assignment uh, to work in the field at 6 a.m. in the morning, I would allow my workers to have a breakfast uh, at 5 a.m. before the work started. And we had our own meal and rice to eat. I had to support my groups uh, so that uh, it could, my groups uh, could be admired during the time that uh, there was competition among our work in the field. We have been very happy since that time until now. I mean our group. 
Est-ce que vous pouvez me dire, monsieur, Can si pendant me, la sir, période du Kampucha démocratique, during the democratic Kampucha period, vous étiez chef de votre village, you were a village chief, il y a eu des élections qui ont été organisées pour élire in order des représentants du peuple to elect people's representatives. Uh, there was no election actually to select village chief. Uh, village chief was assigned by the, the upper echelon, and if uh, the village chief uh, did not perform good work, and if he was not satisfied uh, with the work performance, and then uh, the village chief would be removed. Je ne parlais pas des chefs de village. Il y avait chiefs. au niveau du Kampuchea tout entier une assemblée que l'on appelait l'Assemblée des représentants du peuple. Est-ce que vous avez entendu parler de cette assemblée so Est-ce qu'il y a eu des élections assembly, organisées pour désigner des gens in order to chargés d'aller siéger dans cette assemblée of des représentants du peuple Answer, Can yes, there was oui. election after, long after the collapse of uh, Lonol regime, uh, regime de Lonol. half, um, 15 days or one month after the collapse of uh, Lonol regime, there was an election held in Barai Pagoda, only base people could vote. Jam people and 17 April people were not allowed to cast their votes. Et qui désignait les candidats? And who would appoint the candidates? Oh. <laughs> Answer. Oh, I cannot uh, give you the response. I uh, do not know. It's beyond my understanding. I do not know how to respond. Fine, I have a last series of questions that uh, concerns religion. You said earlier that no one was allowed to practice his or her religion, whether it be the Cham, but also the Buddhists. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire so quand vous avez remarqué qu'il était interdit was de pratiquer une religion Est-ce que c'était avant uh, le 17 avril 1975 ou est-ce que ça a commencé or, or après Answer. Let me tell you, Your Honor. Buddhism and Islamic religion. La religion islamique. Actually, we uh, had the religion. We had practiced the religion in. 1973. Rather, uh, Cham people and uh, those who practice uh, Buddhism uh, were not allowed to uh, have any worship. In 1975, uh, Buddhist monks started to leave uh, monkhood one after another, and Cham people no longer had. Uh, Latitude or had time to uh, pray. Je suis pas sûr d'avoir entièrement bien compris ce que vous dites. I'm not sure that I understood what you just told us. So therefore, I'm going to ask you to clarify things a bit. So, did you tell us that as of 1973, people were no longer allowed to practice their religion, or on the contrary, you said that in 1973 people could still practice their religion? Can you please clarify that? Answer. At the outset, there were monks, and there were 
Islamic people, Jam people, uh, could practice their religion. However, in 1973 and 1974, Jam people were evacuated, and Jam people were not allowed to go to their mosque to pray and ask for monks. They uh, would also do the work in order to help uh, support the battlefield. And later in 1975, uh, monks left uh, monkhood uh, one after another because uh, monks were considered that uh, they did not know, they did not want to be in monkhood anymore. So, were the monks therefore free to choose whether or not they wanted to defrock, or was that decision imposed upon them? And do you know if certain monks refused to defrock? And if that happened, what did happen to them? Merci, Monsieur le Président. J'ai une question puisque je ne peux pas faire de questions des juges. Je voulais savoir si on était bien dans le champ du procès puisque en application de votre décision de disjonction, il me semble que la question du bouddhisme ne figure pas dans les mesures dirigées contre les groupes spécifiques puisqu'il est limité aux faits relatifs aux coopératives de Tramcock. Donc, je voudrais demander une précision à savoir si on, avec ce témoin qui est censé Uh, if, uh, with the, le barrage du 1er janvier dans notre région, si on, dam, on, if on est hors champ du procès, est-ce que comment on va faire hein, pour la suite et quelle va trial. être la position and des parties sur ce point Actually, in the facts that the chamber decided, we party were asked to cover that, to put the question in relation to uh, 1st uh, January Dam. Actually, uh, the persecution of uh, Buddhists and Cham people were not related to uh, 1st January Dam, but the question uh, I, to, I wish to uh, know about uh, the uh, policy of the CPK. La question vise à déterminer les politiques du PCK. Voilà, juste peut-être well, pour clarifier, il, existe, clarify, il est things. allégué qu'il existait une politique well, au niveau de la nation tout entière ciblant un certain nombre de groupes, y compris les bouddhistes, donc il y a un intérêt à 
So therefore, pouvoir cerner éventuellement quelle était cette politique, et en l'occurrence, les seules questions que l'entend poser sont les questions policy. concernant so, un contexte général. Je ne vais pas entrer dans le détail de, 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 de ces problèmes sur le site du Premier ministre. Uh, voilà, donc, on, uh, monsieur uh, le témoin, est-ce que vous pouvez, est-ce que vous vous rappelez ma question, ou est-ce que vous souhaitez que je vous la repose Ou est-ce que vous souhaitez que je vous la repose Ou est-ce que vous souhaitez que je vous la repose Voilà, monsieur le témoin, yes. je vous demandais Witness, si vous saviez you si euh, certains bons avaient if certain si la décision des bons de quitter la robe était une décision qui était volontaire ou si c'était une décision, si c'était des décisions qui leur étaient imposées et si vous saviez you know, si éventuellement can... certains bons avaient refusé de quitter la robe, ce qui avait if, pu, uh, le cas échéant, leur arriver. Monks had refused to the frock, and if they had refused to the frock, what then happened to them? Answer. In relation to this matter, I do not have full knowledge of this matter. However, Cependant, what I know is that uh, sais, all monks uh, left uh, their monkhood in 1975. And my last question now, when site you were working janvier, on the 1 January entendu work parler site, personne qui s'appelait Tran did Tak-tai. you ever hear of someone called Tram Kaktai? Et qui aurait été un ancien moine. And who apparently uh, was a former monk. Answer. I uh, do not know this monk. I, uh, I have never seen and known this individual. Je vous remercie. Je n'ai pas de questions. Fine. Thank you. I have no further questions to put to the witness. President, it is now time for the adjournment. Uh, the court will take an adjournment for 15 minutes, said by the President. President, sorry, I confused. It is now time for the adjournment. The chamber will resume. The hearing will resume tomorrow on the 20th May 2015, starting from 9 a.m. And uh, the chamber will continue uh, hearing the testimony of uh, Mr. Witness Ao Ho as planned. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ao Ho. Your testi- the hearing of your testimony has not come to an end yet, and uh, the chamber will resume hearing your testimony uh, tomorrow, starting from 9 a.m. Court officer, together with a vessel unit, please uh, find and send the witness to his uh, pl- to the place where he is now staying and have him return uh, to the courtroom before 9 a.m. Security personnel are instructed to bring uh, the two accused uh, back to this detention facility and have them return to the courtroom before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.